Stand ready. He killed Val- And many- In the same- Philip is out- And I- I'll make- Any- Hear me out. So- Witcher- What'll you- I've read- I could- f I don't think- Fine. I'll help you open the laboratory. In exchange, I'll tell you all I can. Do we have a deal? Yeah. One more thing. Ugh. You need a deal! Ugh. I'm even faster with my sword. No tricks. Are we likely to encounter drowners? Or a related species? Perhaps other monsters? That is how this world's built. Sewers are infested with monsters. Are we likely to encounter drowners? Or a related species? Perhaps other monsters? That is how this world's built. Sewers are infested with monsters.
Be sure. Ever noticed how monster entrails differ completely from human intestines? No rats are run around sewers. What we're looking for, anyway? Some graves, I heard. Graves? So maybe there is something in this forest. Shut your traps. Want the sergeant to hear? We've been deep shite. But it's a good idea. We've got company. Redanian bastards. The entrance must be somewhere here. If our experts are to be trusted. De Hanna dabbled in illusions, among other things. He also experimented heavily with golems. Golems with the power of speech, supposedly. They knew nothing of poetry, but... Will you two shut up? Yes, it's an illusion. I found a weak spot. Stand back! Later. Later, Elorn. Lisa, Elorn. Later, dear! At times I'm caught. You can get my kind of feet. Though I have no needles, they say I am piercing. What am I? Careful with the answer. It could be a trap. Typical of dear Hannah. He was a genius with a penchant for mischievous jokes, like a child. So a couple of adults, purported experts, should have no problem solving this. Indeed, it's trivial. The answer is pain. Incorrect. No! Impossible! So many years of research together. Why did we ever embark on this? Imagine the books, the potions. My poor friend. I'm seen to fly, described as hard. I can be your currency and heal all wounds, but not many things can stand my test. What do you think? Just keep it serious this time. We don't need another corpse. I think it's a feather. Lifted high into the air by the wind, it can appear to fly. I was a mistress of riddles at the age of ten, but I've never heard of feather money or of fluff being a test of anything. The sun might work. Hmm. It appears to fly. It can be punishing. It's minted on Nilfgaardian florins, and surviving it in the Korath Desert is a man's ultimate test. Fits nicely. But what if it's death? A metaphor for death. Master Farid reveals his poetic soul. Touching. Too bad all the solutions are unlikely. What do you suggest? Time? The Redanian Eagle? A toothless vampire? Perhaps the Witcher has a better idea. The Sun. Incorrect. So many years of research to get. I'm seen to. Can you 
please. I'm seen to fly. I'm seen to fly, described as hard. I can be your currency and heal all wounds. Time. Correct. It's going rather well so far. Not for everybody. Someone's been here, recently. Competition's here. Kill them!
A group of travelers wandering through the dark. Three guides above them, so three were marked. At night they trailed a drake serpentine and a silver lady shining and fine. If only her visage she would deign to unfold. By day they followed a mountain vault, its riches untold. Did I hear someone complain about the riddles being too easy? Let's think this through. There are nine alcoves, a fresco in each. That's three groups of three frescoes. The riddle mentions three guides above the travelers. We must examine the frescoes, seek answers there. Mm. I'll advise you about the riddle, but I will not take part in disarming the device. I've got a bad feeling about this. What do you think of the first verse? I would say it describes a serpentine dragon swallowing its own tail, which represents infinity and thus time. The hourglass likewise symbolizes time. In this case, the time of the traveler's journey. I believe it's the dragon constellation. It would be visible at night. What's more, sources on alchemy invariably portray dragons as winged, and as an accomplished alchemist, Dehenna would also be a competent astrologer. The verse must refer to the constellation. In alchemy, the winged serpentine dragon represents prime matter, an essential component in the process of alchemical transformation. The verse seems to indicate the allegory illustrating that transformation. Can someone remind me how the line was worded? The first verse was, At night they trailed a drake serpentine. I think it's the hourglass. I shall take that one. What do you think of the second verse? To my mind, it speaks of the white rose, symbol of the order of the flaming rose. You see, the fresco itself resembles a coat of arms, and in heraldry, silver is rendered as white. So the silver lady and white rose are one and the same. I think it describes the full moon. In alchemy, the moon represents both silver as a metal and the feminine element. The order remains largely unknown in the south, so the white rose seems unlikely. Every Nilfgaardian, on the other hand, has heard of the Imperial Norsica Brigade, which has the death's head as its symbol. The brigade's name is female, and they say death follows a unit. So the silver lady could very well be Norsica or the death's head. Can someone remind me how the line was worded? As I recall, the second verse was, A silver lady shining and fine, if only her visage she would deign to unfold. It's the skull, or at least it should be. Allow me. What do you say to the third verse? It describes the precipice, the ravine amidst mountains. An ancient rule in alchemy states, as above, so below. The vault is the ravine into which the riches of the mountain flow. We must read the third line literally. To me, it suggests the Mahakam Mountains and its mines, from which dwarves and gnomes extract many ores that are invaluable to alchemists. Those mountains are a vault in and of themselves. The verse is not literal. In many legends, towers are in fact vaults, which the hero must penetrate in order to rescue an imprisoned princess or find a long-concealed magic item. The mountain vault is the tower. Can someone remind me how... The third fragment mentioned a mountain vault containing untold riches which guided the travelers by day. The verse describes the tower, I'm sure. I'll stand next to that fresco. Travelers wandering through the dark. Three guides above them, so three were marked. At night they trailed a drake serpentine and a silver lady shining and fine. If only her visage she would deign to unfold. By day they followed a mountain vault, 
its riches untold. I think it's the hourglass. I shall take that one. I think it's the full moon. Allow me. The verse describes the tower, I'm sure. I'll stand next to that fresco. Let's see if we can solve this. Take your places. Count me out. I want to live. As you will. I shall take that one. It's the skull, or at least it should be. Allow. The verse, I'll stay. Let's take your count me out. Should be the dragon constellation. I shall take that one. It must be the white rose. Allow me. It's gotta be the ravine. I'll stand next to that fresco. Let's take your count me. Us. Try another combination. Damn it. A group of travelers wandering through the dark. Three guides. At night they trailed a drake serpentine and a silver lady shining and fine. If only her visage she would deign to unfold. By day they followed a mountain vault, its riches untold. It should be the dragon constellation. I shall take that. I think it's the full moon. Allow me. It's gotta be the ravine. I'll stay. Let's take it. Count me. We must try another combination.
I would say it describes a serpentine dragon swallowing its own tail, which represents infinity and- I believe it's the dragon constellation. It would be visible at night. Watch more, sources on alchemy invariably portray dragons as winged, and as an accomplished alchemist, Dehenna would also be a competent astrologer. The verse must refer to the constellation. In alchemy, the winged serpentine dragon represents prime matter, an essential component in the process of alchemical transformation. The verse seems to indicate the allegory illustrating that transformation. Everything seems to suggest the allegory of alchemical transformation. I shall take that one. I cannot hope to... A group of... Everything... I shall... What do you think of the second verse? To my mind, it speaks of the White Rose, symbol of the Order of the Flaming Rose. You see, the fresco itself resembles a coat of arms, and in heraldry, silver is rendered as white. So the Silver Lady... I think it describes the full moon. In alchemy, the moon represents both silver as a metal and the... The order remains largely un... The brigade's name is female, and they... It's a lot. What do you say to the third? It describes the precipice, the ravine amidst mountains. An ancient rule. We must read the third. The verse is not. The outstanding. Let take count. Us. Combination. Yeah.